In this tea break video, I'm going to talk about the steps owners of registered trademarks can take to maintain and build the value of their trademark. Like any other piece of property, registered trademarks need proper maintenance to keep their value. Here are some things you'll need to do. If you don't start real use of your trademark within five years from registration, it could become open to cancellation by a third party on the grounds of non-use. Mere token use will not be sufficient to maintain a registration. You have to be able to demonstrate that you're genuinely applying the registered trademark to goods or using it commercially on services. Think carefully before changing the appearance of the mark from its registered form. For example, by adding or removing letters or logo elements. Such changes could affect its overall distinctive character and the registration could become open to attack. If you do need to make changes, for example, because you're refreshing the look, please seek professional advice as a new registration may be required. Tell people it's a trademark. Make your trademark stand out from the rest of the text or background where it appears. It's your property and you need to tell people. Always use the symbol R in a circle if your trademark is registered, or if it isn't, then you can use the symbol TM. You can also include a statement that it is a trademark of your company. If you've allowed others to use your trademark under a license agreement, Ensure that they too are using it correctly in accordance with the terms and conditions specified in the license agreement. No, <laughs> we don't mean involved constabulary, but you do need to keep a close watch on newspaper articles, periodicals, trade literature and advertising to make sure that others are not using your trademark incorrectly or without your permission. You need to take immediate action if you find they are, and you'll need to seek professional advice on this. Failing to take action against an unauthorised user you were aware of can later be deemed acquiescence, and this could count against you. At the risk of sounding rather grammatical, trademarks are damaged if they're used as nouns or verbs because they can become the generic name for the goods or services. For example, re referring to a hoover, rather than just a vacuum cleaner, has turned out to be detrimental to the hoover trademark. And we've probably all seen local advertisements such as Dyson Hoover for sale. Who made that? The correct way to refer to the trademark and goods is it relates to is, for example, he referred to a Hoover vacuum cleaner. Likewise, you should try to prevent usage of your trademark in a manner of I Hoovered the carpet, as this just helps the word to pass into general usage. It stops being your brand, your unique signpost to your goods or services. So make sure you always use your trademark correctly and encourages others to do so. On the other hand, if you're using a trademark that's not yet registered, you can't use the symbol R in a circle or otherwise indicate that it's registered. Strictly speaking, this is an offence under Section 95 of the Trademarks Act, punishable by fines. You should instead use the symbol TM until registration is achieved and the registration certificate has been issued. A trademark can be a very really valuable asset to the business. Always seek advice from a qualified trademark attorney before taking any decisions affecting your brands. Thanks for listening.